Hey, what's going on? It's Mineral Peace, and you're watching the best basketball boxing site in the world, HoopJab.com. Got it. We're here with Ryan Hollins at the the basket the Ballers World event. How you doing tonight, man? Doing great, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. Why is this? Why is an app like this kind of important for Ballers? I think it's huge because it's going to change the way we we look at basketball, the way we play. You know, we we've always gone to the park or play by word of mouth. You never know. It's, it could be a good day, it could be a bad day, but we're still going to keep going to the park. So now we're actually going to organize the way we step out and play basketball, or you find these pickup games on the weekend. Do you do you plan on using the app yourself, like during the off season? I think I'm looking forward to it. You know, that's the real potential of the app is that, you know, everywhere from NBA players to, you know, kids on the playground or moms trying to find somewhere to get their, you know, their kids a good little run in, you know. So um, I'm really excited for that. Now, currently it's the conference finals. I just want to get your thoughts on what's going on at the moment. It's the Cavs and the Hawks. And then we got the Warriors and the Rockets. What do you think about what's going on right now? I think that the, the Cavs and the Warriors are kind of putting on a show against each other right now to see who looks more impressive each night. Um, and I think just just stepping in and 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 seeing it's it's a one man show, you know. So it's really a Steph and LeBron, you know. So LeBron kind of sat back, said, "I'm gonna let you guys challenge for the MVP," and uh, you know, LeBron's looking like the postseason MVP right now. So yeah. it's gonna be a good finals. Were you kind of disappointed to see your former teammates fall the way they did to the Rockets? I was. I mean, that's always tough, man. I got a lot of love for the Clippers, and you know, a lot of guys. Uh, you know, still on the team and the organization, you know, so that was a tough loss, but they'll be back next year. What can we expect from the Kings next season? Big things, huge things for the Kings. You know, we're, we're a growing franchise, got a new coach and kind of had a tough year, but, uh, you know, we'll bounce back and we got a lot of great talent on the team. Thanks a lot, man. Good luck.